Hello, this is old Mr. Kent of MrKent.com, and that is not our new home. As a matter of fact, that is up in Spokane, Washington, and uh, it's part of the property where we moved. Um, well, let me see. This is about 10 years ago when I took this, and I don't know why the, I don't know why I, I didn't have a good camera, but there's got to be a reason somewhere. Anyway, we had an acre of uh, grass and some outbuildings <clears throat> and 22 trees, and that kept me very busy, <laughs> raking leaves and so forth. And uh, that there's the three-windowed uh, little building that we changed and moved and turned into a sewing shack for my wife. And before that, it was a, a place for homing pigeons when the guy built it. And to the left there, you can see my 24 by 24 workshop. And then uh, <clears throat> this is looking back down at the house. And of course, I missed my 24 by 24 workshop. When I moved up to Arizona, I had to give away a lot of tools. And that's looking back down at the workshop again. And boy, do I ever miss that workshop. And then the, the trees, <clears throat> some of them were uh, evergreen and some of them were, what have you called the other thing, carnivorous or something. So I always had grass to rake and leaves to rake. And that was in Spokane, Washington, 10 years ago. Now, this is my new home and you can spot it down there. And these are all my neighbors and uh, just wonderful folks. Uh, and uh, anyway, as you look out here, you can see... Uh, uh, this is looking west, and then down below on the right-hand side, that's the park where me and my grandson have spent many, many hours having a good time together. So it's not so bad. We followed uh, his parents down here so we could help raise him. And then coming in on the upper right-hand corner is the favorite flying park that I go to and make so many videos and uh, as you can see, it's much bigger than that little one my grandson and I go to. And then behind it is the Queen Creek Wash. If you can see a uh, little line of sagebrush looking stuff there, they're trees, they're not sagebrush. And then coming in on the right hand side up there at the top is the uh, concrete plant. And I have uh, shot a lot of videos from that uh, concrete plant. And as you look out there about four miles or so, you can see my, uh, my son moved out of the HOA and found himself a place with a little more than an acre. And uh, you can see me standing down there by my car on the left. And my grandson was standing there waving as I took off. But uh, anyway, so that's his place. But I'm stuck in town here. And then coming in on the right is the new houses that have been being built over the last three years. I, took, I have a, a playlist of uh, videos from when it looked like the plot on the left to where it looks like it does now. And then up in the upper right-hand corner, there's a hospital and uh, there's construction around it, but I can't get over there and fly close to it because uh, it's against the rules. And they do have a helipad over there. And then straight down, those cars going across in front of us, that's where I just recently took the video of the... Uh, the guys uh, laying sewer pipe and uh, they noticed me flying over them. So here we're going to come down and uh, if you've been following my videos you can probably spot the house and if you haven't well it's not the one on the right and it's not the one on the left and it's not the one straight ahead but we're getting there and uh, so, and we do have some really nice neighbors, I'm not kidding you. Even though uh, it's an HOA and I had to give away my welders and stuff like that in order to move here. So uh, anyway, I'm happy to be here with family and uh, it works pretty good. Oh look, there's a guy in a white t-shirt down there. Looks like he's reading a book or maybe he's flying a plane. Look in the lower left corner of this. You can see that we're 50 feet or 40 feet or 30 feet away from whoever's flying this drone. And uh, so maybe that was him. There, we're getting further away. I think that was probably the guy flying the drone. And uh, the house we're looking at right straight ahead there, the brown house and the gray house. Two wonderful friends uh, lived there. When we moved in, it was over 100 degrees and we had a truck to unload. And uh, both of those uh, guys came uh, from whatever they were doing. They stopped and uh, helped us. Spent, they spent the day 
unloading a, uh, a 24 foot uh, is actually a trailer from a semi. And then straight down where you see that that pickup, my uh, Bebop 2 fell 270 feet to the pavement down there because I was using a battery that was no good and didn't even pay much attention to it. So uh, <clears throat> anyway, I was able to repair it, believe it or not. It was all broken up, but you can buy parts. And I bought the parts and I repaired it. And uh, so uh, anyway, just another story. I got a million of them. Now there's the front of my house. Remember the picture in uh, uh, one up in Spokane? Well, this is where we live now. <laughs> and, and that's our uh, yard, which is not an acre. And by the way, some people say, you shouldn't be showing your address and where you live and stuff. Well, it's a little late because uh, I've sold uh, several hundred uh, cables for uh, balance chargers for the Bebop uh, drone. And uh, my return address is on all of those. And so <laughs> I think it's a little late to worry about it. So uh, that's the front yard. We're going to go around and take a look at the backyard. And there's my dog over there. And she's not supposed to be eating the leaves off of the flower plants, but uh, she's doing it anyway. Uh, she's uh, she's 11 years old and uh, real sweet. Uh, I love that dog. But uh, anyway, she just can't help it. She just loves to eat grass and things like that. And there's my neighbor. He's got a, uh, a swimming pool and a lot of friends. Uh, I don't have a swimming pool, but I still have a lot of friends. And, I don't know how that works, but I guess uh, I'm blessed. And so we're going to come down. We're going to land, or we're not going to land. We're going to come down into the backyard, and we're going to fly visual instead of uh, uh, with the uh, FPV. And it's not as safe in my in my mind with the technology we have. But uh, anyway, I'm going to be spending time uh, flying that way. And so we're going to see, there's that guy that was flying the drone. He's a handsome guy, isn't he? Yeah, for an old dude. Anyway, so we're going to take a tour. There's a sticker bush. Uh, you reach in there with your arm, you're going to end up with little pokies on your arm. So we'll go along here. And then one of the things that uh, we have here in Arizona, and by the way, you'll notice it's cloudy here today, just like it was up in Spokane. And uh, it's not thick clouds, but uh, there's our little friend. We got several of those, and uh, they they don't get very big because the roadrunner birds, uh, that that's what they eat. They eat the little lizards. So uh, anyway, we'll see if we can get close to him. Oh, he noticed. He says, you guys going to mess with me? Nah, we're not going to mess with you. So... Let's go for a little tour. I've, I've flown around my backyard before, if you followed my videos, but this time we're gonna give you the full tour. Now, the, down in the lower left-hand corner, uh, the dog uh, left a landmine, but there's my uh, landmine uh, detector over there. And uh, he did that, or she did that, just before I did the video, so otherwise it would have been pretty clean. All right, we're gonna go down our maintenance or uh, utility alley here okay and that white paint on that post when I first moved down here uh, I'm a ham radio operator and I wanted to set up a, a wire antenna and uh, so I had I glued a hook on there uh, and then as it turned out it wouldn't work anyway I couldn't hear anything because of all the RF noise generated in a place like this so anyway we're gonna head down here and uh, there's the old uh, ladder on the ground down there that I used to use to fill the tanks on my airplane and uh, I had a high wing airplane and then we're coming down here and you, the, the uh, window on the left remember I said my grandson and I have spent a lot of time at the park well he's he's over here enough that he has his own room and so uh, he looks out that window when he's here, but he hadn't been here for several weeks. I don't know, I haven't been counting, but uh, anyway, since the virus uh, condition started, uh, we haven't uh, been able to have him over. And in that room there, when I'm in my office, I can look out that window. And so we're next door neighbors, me and my grandson, and uh, good buddies. 
All right, so now we're going to, uh, when I'm sitting in my office, uh, hey, before you go up, you better back up a little bit here. Yeah, don't want to hit the roof. When I'm sitting in my office, uh, I hear these, uh, we have a lot of doves down here, and they go, hoo, 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 and things like that. They're sending Morse code to each other. And so I'm sitting down there, and uh, I, I, you know, it, you get used to it. It doesn't bother me. But uh, the reason I hear them, and they're just like they're right outside my window. So uh, we're going to go up here, and I'll show you where they live. Get a little bit higher. And uh, they... Uh, they're, <laughs> they talk back and forth to each other outside my window. All right, so now we're going to go over here, and we're going to... I hope there's nobody in that room. They got their curtains open. Uh, these are my neighbors. I hope they don't get upset with me. But if you notice, uh, they live up there above that windowsill. And on that one and the one further down. And uh, so you can tell... <laughs> you can tell they spend a lot of time up there. So anyway, uh, that's a tour of our backyard and uh, our front yard and uh, a little bit of our neighborhood. And so uh, I guess that's about all I can say is uh, that's where we live now. It's like home sweet home. And you'll notice it sometimes it is cloudy in Arizona, just like it was in Spokane, Washington. So I want to thank you for watching. And uh, God bless.